So here are some mods that you'll want to have to enhance your experience in Lethal Company. Starting with mod number 1, this is the newly added Drama Mask mod. It has a new type of mask which is not haunted like its tragedy and comedy counterparts. In fact, wearing the Drama Mask will actually make the other mask enemies ignore you. They can also be attached to the player's face, allowing you to look identical to mask enemies and scare your friends. While this may sound overpowered, there is a stealth meter that is used while attempting to hide while using this mask to balance this out. Once the stealth meter runs out, you are basically a target next. Pretty configurable as well to suit your playstyle and liking of how this mod function. To use this mod, just make sure that everyone installs it as well for it to work. Oh and FYI, you can only find this mask as a scrap in the wild. And next up for mod number 2, this is the Darmo's Terminal Stuff mod. This is a completely configurable terminal mod that adds more than 40 new useful commands to the terminal. Not only does it add new commands, but you can also see what your friends are doing on the terminal now. Now, 40 commands is nothing to scoff at, so here are some examples of the new commands. For the comfort commands, we have things like quit that makes you quit the terminal without pressing escape, mods which displays all the currently loaded mods in the game, or even kick which kicks someone from the terminal itself if that's your liking. For the control commands, we have things like TP and ITP which activates both the normal and inverse teleporter, clock which displays the time in the terminal, and danger that shows the current hazard slash danger level of the moon you are on if you need a reminder. We also have things like the extra commands that allows you to type loot to scan all map value on the ship, link which allows you to open other websites on the internet in the terminal, and even refund which allows you to get a refund from your previous purchase if you change your mind. Now there are also fun and informational ones, like LOL that plays a random video you've placed inside the game's folder, F color to change the colors of your flashlight, and more to head to the main menu of this mod for more features. A pretty damn straightforward mod that gets the drop down for terminal enthusiasts. You can make this mod client-sided if you disabled mod networking in the config menu, but just keep note that this disables some of the commands that requires this to be on. Now for the next mod, this is the Overhaul Moons mod. It currently adds one new moon called the Macrodidum, which is a moon covered in a colony of massive mushrooms. More will be added in the future. As this mod was currently updated hours ago, custom ambient sounds are added as well and just as the mod websites mentioned, make sure to escape as soon as you are done before the fungi decides to not let you live alive. Go ahead and try this one out if you love new maps as everyone needs to install it for it to work. Now for mod number 4, this is the Nightmare Foxy mod. This adds the Nightmare Foxy enemy from the Five Nights at Freddy series into Little Company. If you played or seen the FNAF games before, you'll be able to expect what's coming. With this mod installed, Foxy has a chance to now spawn. When it is successfully spawned, it will start off by going into the waiting behavior, which Foxy will wait before he goes from stages to stages until he points its hook. Once you hear the howling from him, he will go into the second phase. During the second phase, Foxy will start running at a random player inside the facility and accelerate until he reaches the player or is seen. If seen, he will decelerate and go back to stage 1, and if not seen soon enough, he will kill the player. So yeah, kinda works like a call hit, just with a different twist to it. I love adding new enemies to the game to spice things up, and you may want to try this one out if you are a fan of the FNAF games. This mod requires everyone to install it for it to work. Now maybe you want to have a little more control over what you can see. Well, introducing the Let Me Look Down mod. A simple mod that allows you to look all the way down, well, almost all the way, compared to its vanilla settings. As simple as it is, it may prove useful to scenarios where you are trying to pick something up without being stuck on the vanilla's angle. This mod is client-sided, so it only works for you after installing it. Now, while these mods may or may not be for you, I have more mods in this video right here, so go ahead and check them out. I'm sure you'll find something you like.